Welcome to Total Fit Heads. Serious fitness for not so serious people. Fisty cuffs. <laughs> that is the subject of today's episode. No, fisty cuffs is specifically punching, right? Fisticuffs in my brain is a sailor with a huge mustache in like the nineteen thirty. Put it here, I say, I say, you have a put it there, slap jackie. Yeah. <laughs> I say Barnaby. <laughs> yes, exactly. Slap jackie. Uh, the weightlifters with the singlets and the yeah. boulders oh, or whatever. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. People did fight like this though. At, this was the stance. That's the if for everybody who's listening on audio, I have my fit my knuckles facing Max versus facing me. So your palms towards your opponent. Well, there's a lot of different stances. There's tiger stance. Oh right, with just your palms, hands at crane open. And okay, I all guess. That stuff. I don't know, just the idea of punching someone but being like uh, it doesn't. Ready. It doesn't seem that uh, athletic. You know, you think about like a quote unquote athletic stance, and I guess I, I guess my base for that is like basketball or soccer. You know, like normal mm -hmm. sports. <laughs> well, those are all different too. So I think about basketball stance all the time because it's also in hip hop culture that like walking around with your hands out and kind of hunched forward mm -hmm. was very 80s when we were doing those movements. Weight on the balls of your feet, heels yeah. up almost. Yeah, I just feel like anytime a rapper is talking with his hands, he's almost playing basketball. <laughs> that they're they're one and the same, that they came from the same thing culturally and that, my friends, is anth anthropology. <laughs> Alleythropology. <laughs> But a stance is a funny one to start with, too, because, like, a basketball stance is not the same as a wrestling stance, which is, but they're about the same height, whereas mm -hmm. by wrestling, you turn your hips a little bit, one foot's definitely in front of the other. Boxing, you're, like, standing way up taller, you know what I mean? You can, you go down and thing. I and feel like you're still kind of hunched over, though. Your the, elbows yeah, are hunched over. You're but really... Like, wrestling, for example, your head is forward. <laughs> Wrestling, I would hit people with my head all the time because it was great. Also, I have a huge head, so it was an unbelievable advantage. You know, wow. Whereas boxing, like you don't hit somebody with your head, you'll you'll die. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hit... to protect your head the most. Right. What uh, this idea sort of came about because we were talking with current female superhero crush of ours. Yes, Jess Evans. <laughs> I feel like it gets replaced every week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone that we bring on, I was talking, <laughs> we were talking about this <laughs> via text. I was like, our show really is just Allie and Max get impressed by people. <laughs> yeah, we're like, whoa, what? <laughs> That's the whole show. <laughs> oh. But yeah, we've been talking to fighters, just actually being in the ring. And well, she started with boxing, right? Yes. And then she did. She was like, "Well, I have six other limbs. I'm going to use my knees and elbows and feet." Right. And so then she went to uh, Muay Thai, or yes. And then, what is Taekwondo? Do we talk about Taekwondo with her or no? No, I don't think so. That's a, a well. They're all martial arts, right? Martial means fighting or whatever. Yeah. Uh, the art of fighting, without fighting. That's the highest level, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when did Me you just get... curling an insult and then running away? <laughs> <laughs> what was your introduction to combat sports? Let's call it. Well. Anything. So combat sports. Let's call it combat. Let's define that. Boxing, wrestling, Krav Maga, yeah. kickboxing, dance fighting. Like dance what are we? Fighting. <laughs> Is that everything? Yeah, stage combat. Or stage whatever. combat. Like, sure. Yeah. Sword, sword play. Sword play. Well, maybe no weapons in this one. Mm. Yeah, or karate. Is that in there? Yes. Krav Maga's weapons. You have Krav to disarm Maga. people. Mentally. Your mental weapons. <laughs> Chess. <laughs> you disarm someone with your with your brain. You're like, really? You're gonna use a knife? <laughs> okay. You just nag someone to not stabbing you. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> That's not embarrassing at all, but Ooh, wow. Yeah. So anyway, what was what was your uh, what was your intro? Yeah, this is interesting because Jess was like, 
I feel like people get into combat sports from a bad place. It's always uh -huh. a bad place. I'm also interested to hear how you got into wrestling. Mm -hmm. But I guess I was thinking for myself, it kind of was because I moved to L.A. and I was like, oh, I am in more danger here than <laughs> a suburb. <laughs> Maybe I'll try defending myself. Whoa, physical danger? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. But it's it's a good point. I mean, I really think it's a it's a... Not only does it, like, mentally... I feel like fighting people who have either been in sort of a, some somewhat of a combat sport or in a physical sport or something like that, they're way more well-adjusted mentally. They're way more apt to avoid a fight because they understand how bad they are in real life. They're way more like, they take it seriously. Like once you've actually been punched or kicked, you realize how much it sucks and you don't want to do that in your daily life and mm -hmm. maybe you're slightly less rude to the bouncer or whatever. I find that quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you don't try and use even just mental anger to change someone's mind or get what you want because you <laughs> that's not gonna work and yeah. being threatening isn't is might lead to actually fighting yeah so first of all let's, the caveat is fighting is the worst it's the worst but then so so you were like walking down the streets of la and you're like i feel like i'd like to know how to defend myself yeah and then you just signed up for krav maga what? specifically because that's the most ruthless one and it's all about the uh, offense is your best form of defense and and no holds barred it is just self-defense to the point of gouging eyes and kicking crotches and and getting out of there which is very different than the rules of even muay thai which seems pretty darn savage yeah so how'd you find your place uh, i tried out a place and it's funny i went at the wrong time and I took a kickboxing class by accident. <laughs> well, I walked in and the coach was like, he's fine, just take this one. He's Italian, by the way. Super awesome. Taught me how to be, yeah, very deadly. Uh huh. And so I just like took this, took this kickboxing class and it ended up being super fun. So I stuck with it. That was the first class of any, anything like that you've ever, ever? Yeah. Yeah. I probably honestly, my first intro to hit even though they didn't call it HIT training, it was high intensity intervals, and I'd never done that. I'd only ever, you know, ran or danced. Steady yeah. state cardio. Skated. Skated. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. Explosive gliding. <laughs> <laughs> Expo glide. I feel like it's like medium to high. Well, I don't know. My friend Morgan was on the hockey team. He was always like, it's so funny when they try to make you do sprints and hockey because you're on skates. It's fun it's anyway. So fast. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. okay, well, I guess that sounds it fun. Does, it's the closest thing to flying that yeah. a human can feel. Yeah. And then, so you said you did kickboxing first. Yes. But then I started going, I showed up for the right time right. for Krav too. And I took Krav classes. But it became very quickly clear that Krav is not a workout. It mm. is training to defend yourself and that's a separate thing from doing a workout and so i fell more into the workout stuff because it felt like kind of multitasking you know i was getting some self-defense while still not having to do another workout afterward right so yeah and i will say that in terms of hit high intensity interval training uh. Uh, kickboxing boxing stuff like that that is about as high as my intensity can yeah, get. I mean, I haven't found a workout that's higher intense. Especially if you're <laughs> that's visualizing. Higher than <laughs> higher but like, they'd say like hit the bag or spar or whatever. Like go for a minute, rest for a minute, and like that minute is brutal. It's yeah. not like, no offense, shout out all the other air, air quotes high intensity <laughs> interval training. That's like pretty medium high. Whereas, boxing class, kickboxing, wrestling, like. That stuff is super high intense. You yeah, mean, so wrestling, you f fully go for it and yeah, I mean, get you, wiped. The, that's, that's one of the biggest differences is, you know, you can go all out and after about 15 seconds, 20 seconds, you're toast, really. Because you can't, like, uh, you know, it's just too hard. There's too much stuff going on. You're using your entire body in a, in a weird way you can't predict. Um, it's, a, it's like that thing with swimming when you haven't swam in a while and like you're 
weird back muscles s sore. Yeah. Or like you go skating and like your outside like, butt is sore. I didn't know I sore. had that part of my butt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like that, but everywhere, yeah. you know? And it's also mentally taxing because you're like reacting and moving and reacting. And, mm -hmm. um, but by far, by far, it's the hardest physical practice or, or so or I've ever done. I remember in high school, a couple of my friends, we used to play this game, a wrestling sort of inspired game called mat ball, which is basically like, it's kind of like handball or rugby, but you wrestle in the middle of it. <laughs> and so but a couple of my friends came and they played because it was like a really fun game. You don't technically need to know how to wrestle, but still you get it. <laughs> Handball's cool, but can it be wrestling? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and they were so tired after 10 minutes that they couldn't get up. <laughs> and so they were like crawling to the corner of the room <laughs> so that they could rest. Because they couldn't get up and leave because they were so tired. But they also couldn't wow. stay playing because they couldn't get up. So yeah, it, it's you, you can get pretty tired. Pretty unbelievably tired pretty quickly. Yeah, that's crazy. How did you get into wrestling? Uh, I used to be really good at basketball and then I broke my middle finger and then I had a cast on my middle finger so I was flipping everyone off <sighs> which was fun. so fun for like 72 hours mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it was terrible and then I started uh, I just started wrestling because uh, I forget my 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 dad's friend um, was an old wrestling coach and he was like oh this would be fun you should try it and then we played mat ball that first day, and it's the, that's the most fun I've ever play, had in my life. <laughs> Period. Bar <laughs> none. Full stop. This game called mat ball, it's incredible. Um, and we played that the first day because it was pre-season or you know, mm -hmm. captain's practice or whatever. And I was like, wow, that's the greatest game ever. Can we play that again? Are we playing that tomorrow? And they were like, maybe. And that's we, how they indoctrinate you. And we didn't. And then the second day, I was like, wow, okay, that sucked. Uh, wrestling is the worst. But are we going to play mat ball tomorrow? And they were like, maybe. <laughs> and then that was it. That was the whole first year. And we played mat ball twice, I think, or maybe wow. three times. And that was awesome. It was <laughs> superb. But yeah, I was pretty bummed we didn't play a lot of mat ball. But then over the course of the year, it got to be really fun. And then I got to be really good, and all my friends mm -hmm. were on the team, and so it was really, that's sort of how I fell into it. Yeah. That's cool. Um, and then we did, we would, we would, it's funny, like, I didn't, this didn't even occur to me until, like, years, not years later, but a long time later, you know, in, in high school, we, I don't know how you guys would do, I think it's the same in the, across the U.S., but it's like, there was, a, everybody played a fall sport. Then you play a winter sport, then you play a spring sport. Is that what you guys did? Sport. Okay, nerd. So you play a fall sport, you do the play, then you're in the band. Yeah, right? there we go. Me? Here you go. Tennis? Tennis. Oh, the cats. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but for, so for us, but we, what we did was, so I would do my fall, winter, spring sports, and then in the summers I would go to wrestling camp or I'd go to... Um, I'd go to Harvard, had an open open mat basically, and I would go wrestle at Harvard in the you summer. Show up with and a ball. I'd show up with a mat ball and be like, you guys! <laughs> and so I just kept going to like more camps and more practices, and I'd go to a club camp or a club practice or whatever, and I got really good. And then it was funny, like I was sort of talking to my dad, I was like, yeah, it's weird that I got so good. And he was like, what do you mean it's weird? You put the time in. Like you kept practicing more than just uh, what everybody else yeah. did. You know what I mean? And it didn't even occur to me. That you just like enjoyed it that yeah. much. But that was, that was it. for me too. Yeah. Wait, t talk to me about the learning curve and your motivation and how they were tied. Was it that you were seeing your... Yeah. How did the, you stay motivated and what was it related to? The learning curve is terrible. <laughs> terrible. The first year, you don't know what's going on. You don't even know what's happening. You're mm -hmm. like... Well, whose hand is that? It's the guy. There's only one other guy. It's him. But you're like, what's happening? And it's also like a weird balance thing. Like, I, I, I compare it to swimming a lot because it, 
like when you throw somebody in the pool, they don't know what's going on. They're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa and they're slapping <laughs> around, you know? But someone who's a good swimmer that looks effortless, you know, they're just like, oh, if I just sort of lean this way or like take a deep breath, I'll float. Or if I exhale in this way, I'll like glide under the water like that. It's very much the same thing. Uh, I think for, I know for wrestling and I'm, and I'm imagining for a lot of other combat sports just because it's sort of a weird, you have to like relearn how to move and where to put your, how to transfer your weight and all this stuff. So yeah, the learning curve is rough. And even, we had a couple kids, um, like adults who try to learn and they're like really good athletes or they were good athletes in something else. Um, it doesn't always translate very yeah, well to get to that second nature yeah feel. but we talk about there's something called or in wrestling you call it like hips he, he's got good hips or she's got good hips it essentially just means like you are aware of where your weight is and where the other person's weight is and how to transfer that to like put more weight on them or to like take the weight, sort of pull the rug out from under them or something like that. Or, or when you're rolling, you know, like when to turn and which way to give yourself the right balance leverage. that you need or leverage exactly. Whoa. Yeah. And so it's, we call it hips and it's really just a question of how comfortable are you, um, in sort of a weird situation, you know, cause in college wrestling, uh, NCAA U S wrestling, there's, you, you go, you're on the mat for two thirds of the thing usually two-thirds of the match and so there's all this weird stuff because like you're just like a jumble of limbs <laughs> and you're like rolling around and you, you go like this and then he grabs your wrist and all your weight was on your wrist and then you just yeah. slam on your own shoulder and you're like well that sucks you know <laughs> but you know you sort of just need to know it's 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 a hard thing to describe which is why we call it something stupid like hips <laughs> but it, it means like you're sort of intuitive or your um, yeah. your your spatial awareness kind of I can't imagine having hips, let alone being able to see it in someone else. The idea that you can just pick up on the the depth of their movement and I'd just be like, yeah, it is a jumble of legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. I, I, I thank you. I, I think it's more of just like you see it enough and then you see yourself in a similar position. You're like, wow, I had no idea what that was. And all that guy was, all he did was he like, he put this foot over that foot and then that was it. That was easy, you know. It's sort of a question of really just getting used to it. So yeah, the, the learning curve is brutal, uh, but I think I I think I personally improved just enough that first year that I was like, all right, that was cool. You know, by the end I was like kind of winning, kind yeah. of, you know. And and it's also a question of like, there's they should put you against people around your level that right. was, we were talking about that with to um, get them to flow just the right number of, amount of challenge right the, the perfect is when they're slightly better than you or yeah. slightly worse than you it's terrible when they're way better or way worse right. it's actually equally um useless kind of for both parties right because the, the good, yeah, either, either person's not learning or getting better, yeah. you know. It's not like that in ballet. You can take a beginner class and be an elite ballerina and still get something out of it. Because the coach is yelling at you? Yeah. Just <laughs> whacking you with the, the yardstick or whatever? <laughs> uh, Kane, it's so true. Lose two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's some cigarettes. <laughs> I already had lunch. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's great. So... Do you, when you're watching someone wrestle, almost sense you become the person you're watching? This I feel like this is why I can't watch a Ben Stiller movie. Because <laughs> even in books and movies, I am placing myself mm. in the body of the protagonist or whatever. And so when I see someone else in combat, it's almost like you're sensing yourself there I don't know or am I making this up well first of all I think it's really cool that you identify yourself as Ben Stiller <laughs> that is really that's a new it's thing always embarrassed and then it's <laughs> me embarrassed <sighs> <sighs> you know I think it depends on your thing like I know when we're watching dance anything dance related Brittany will be like oh wow she's not a real dancer <laughs> or like this girl's got great feet and I'm like what you know, so I think it's what you see and what you're used to, and I, I, I think if you spend enough time doing something, 
Uh, like I imagine if I was a javelin thrower and I was watching javelin, I'd yeah. be like, nice. <laughs> You know, but now I'm like, wow, that's a really big dart he's got there. You know? Dart. <laughs> so I don't know, but yeah, I, I can see it a little bit. Um, I also am very, very aware that there's so much. The guys today are so much better than the best guys when I was doing it. Yeah. And I think that's the same for almost every sport now. Thank like, goodness humans are moving forward. Yeah, you know, we're getting real good. Like the, the there's all these arguments about like best basketball players or whatever, and I'm like, dude, the regular basketball player today is unbelievable compared to the guys in the yeah. 50s and 60s running around, you know, right. slapping the ball like like a bongo or whatever. So I I, I can <laughs> see it a little bit. But I also can see how much better they're getting. It's it's crazy. And they're it's short really crazy. shorts. Uh, speaking of javelin, we really should try and get Flula on. Oh yeah. <laughs> he got jacked for that role. I know he really did. It'd and be he a great got interview. he got that. Uh, let me ask you a little sidebar. Have you ever done those ones where you like inhale your stomach? A vacuum. What is that, and what does it do? It's a look. That's a it's called a vacuum and it's what you do in bodybuilding to show off your shape to look more like a bee it's somebody made it up and now they all do it and it's but it's, it's um looks painful see i imagine myself in that position and then i'm like Ugh, every time i see a vacuum it looks incredibly painful not good but do you train for it yes you do but yes. just... it's a type of controlling your your abdominal wall to suck it in I know. So where do your organs go? I don't know. There's plenty of <laughs> room to mush around in there, probably. I mean, maybe. Have you tried it? I tried it the other day when I saw Same. someone do it, and I was like, wow, that's really hard, yep. and I can't do it at all. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll just do sets of, wow, I guess I, nope, sets of one second, you know? <laughs> it started at like 30 seconds, went to 15, went to 10, went to 5, you know, it was very quickly... Now, when you do them, does that have any long-lasting effects? Like, do you... I think it's a workout, yeah. It's, it's taxing your muscles. Also, those bodybuilders got to be exhausted when they come off the podium. I know. They haven't had a carb in a, a Years, whole week. Weeks, months. And then they're just tensing every single muscle for From... however long they're up there. I don't know. I guess we should ask Stanimal. We should go to Stanimal's next competition, obviously. My friend is in a competition. I can't figure out where it is. It's next week. Might be this weekend. <gasps> Gotta do some research. Anyway, sorry. I'll, well, it's called a tease. We'll come back to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, reverse sidebar. So, we're back at wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> what do they teach you in Krav? Like a lot of eye gouges and nut, nuts? See, How much nuts are we talking? Nuts. It is a lot of, yeah. If you can get to the crotchal area, that is your first go. Yeah. yeah well, smart. and then when you first start, it's a lot of when someone grabs you, that's how you get out of it. Mm -hmm. the, the standard, like, neck attack kind of thing. So I've done that kind of stuff because, you know, I haven't gotten that deep into it. But also, you start getting deep into it, and then you're like, whoa, this could take a lot of work to make it truly second nature when someone touches you to just react in the right way right. and you could spend years and years finally getting to that point and that's still just one person that's unarmed right and then you can work on disarming the gun or dealing with the knife or two people right. or now it's a gang and i just spent five years of my life learning krav maga but to oh well <laughs> and now it's uh, an economy that's crushing me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's important. And also, why don't we take a second and can you tell me and sort of everyone, if someone's if someone's double strangling you, what do you what do you do? Just be difficult. Just a, a kick and attack and be loud. Just be a. They want an easy target, so make yourself not an easy target, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely go for the crotch. Uh, you would want to, if someone's going for your neck, you want to tense up so that they can't get after that delicate space. You can kind of, I feel like you've, you've tried, you've been like, oh, you do crotch when I did this to you, <laughs> whatever. Um, you want to duck down while simultaneously shoving their hands up above you. 
So you're using both of those forces at the same time to try and get out. But don't, if you're listening to this podcast to learn self-defense, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Go take a crop class. Well, I was talking with someone the other day and um, it was a girl and she had sort of implied that if someone was strangling her, she would pretend like she passed out. That was like her plan. Oh, okay. And I was like, that's a pretty bad plan. I gotta <laughs> tell you. Learn from the raccoons. <laughs> The possum. The possum, that's it. <laughs> Playing dead. I would say that is one of the worst plans I could possibly imagine. Please don't anybody do that. Not that like this is a super lethal podcast or whatever, but if, if someone's strangling you, don't pretend like they did it because then they'll keep going and then you'll wake up and freak out when they actually do strangle you and then you'll die. So it's, please don't. Please don't die. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, but, uh, but also I think it's important to, it's it's important at least to think about it for girls, you know. Sure. No offense for chicks, sorry. I think it's important to think about something, some sort of plan. Don't you think? I mean. Yeah, yeah, and it would be good to just get a baseline. I know I say that I would have to put way more time in the crowd to get anything out of it, but when you take a couple of classes, you at least know, like I said, how to be a difficult target, which will greatly increase your survival rate. Right. And then from there, it's diminishing returns on, you know, being a murder machine that can get out of several guns pointed at you. So you said earlier that Krav was not that much of a workout. Is it kind of because it's move, counter move? Yeah, it's more like ingraining the muscle memory. Imagine if Olympic lifting didn't have any weight and you're just Mm. trying to learn how to move with the weight and make it second nature and and get that muscle memory in that's what it is i mean yeah it is a workout i'm and i would say the average person but not a fit head right, would course. would consider it a workout well one one reason i bring that up is jiu jitsu is not nearly the workout that wrestling is for example mm-hmm. you can just sort of go live in jiu jitsu for like 20 minutes 15 20 minutes you know oh, cuz it is a lot of move, counter move, um, you know, being on your back is sort of more, that that's take possible in snooze. jiu-jitsu, take a little snooze, uh, whereas wrestling is, you know, like I said, it's, it's probably not, um, maybe because it's more like sort of physical, I guess, it's not a, as move, counter move, whereas mm-hmm. jiu-jitsu is like move, counter move, counter move, counter move, counter move, counter move. Yeah. So it is sort of really interesting in that sense, but in a workout sense, like, it's just not as taxing, and I don't want to like. No, yeah, all you jujitsu losers, <laughs> try a real sport. You know, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> sport. But you know, there's so there's different levels. So these combat sports, there's different levels of like workout. Yeah. Versus. And you kept saying boxing is the hardest hit you've ever done, and I mean. But when you add in legs, that becomes really difficult. And that's why I'm a huge fan of kickboxing and not any of the boxing classes that I've taken. Because when it's total body, that's when I'm just like absolutely wiped. Yeah. So I appreciate that Muay Thai is... (laughs) Muay Thai? I can't even imagine. Yeah. I haven't... I have not even planned on messing around with that. I have a couple friends who like did it and just tried it in Australia, like lunatics. Uh... But yeah, that's that's a whole other level of like. Well, and in an MMA, it's free for all, right? You just do whatever, all of the things. You end up on the mat, and now it's jujitsu. And right. And then it's wrestling, and it's striking, and yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. I like it. I have a hard time watching some of the knockouts, the MMA knockouts. They're a little too. Because you're imagining yourself in. The situation and getting it to the face. Well, yeah, or I'm imagining murdering someone accidentally and being like, <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's how you apologize for killing My someone. bad. Uh, That's hard. Do you watch any fights now? No. I mean, I've seen whatever stuff comes up on social media or whatever. I've never gone to one. Have you seen in person? Yeah. Pretty rough. Pretty fun. Fun to watch, but pretty... I don't know. It's a little. It's a little. Um, uh, I, it's a little violent for me. I guess. A little I don't know violent why. for me. Call me crazy. Hmm. What's the crowd like that goes to those things? A lot of a lot of dudes. 
Hmm. <laughs> uh, I haven't been to one in years. I went to sort of. I, I remember I went to one in like Western Mass one time that was really fun because it was in like a. It was a very very sort of smaller league or whatever, okay. and it was just in a hotel ballroom. Those are some passionate dudes. Yeah. Just wanted. Just it was wanted awesome. <laughs> And they had a cage in the middle of the room and like what? a bunch of folding chairs around and yeah, it was really, really fun. I had a great time. Whoa. Might have been the thirty seven Bud Lights I had. Uh, but yeah. anyway, it was it was really fun. Have you ever gone to WWE? No. Dying to. I can't Seems believe like it. it'd be fun. I was a huge fan when I was a little little kid and then the only actually that's one of the only downsides of wrestling in, in high school was that it's, it gave me a little bit less of a, lo a love for professional sure. wrestling. Although that being said, one of the most fun things we would do is my friends and I would do professional wrestling style <laughs> stuff and now we were like well versed in actual wrestling moves so yeah. we could actually do cool stuff. Yeah, you could choke slam somebody and I would know how to fall right oh, so that's get awesome. hurt. Or like someone hit me with a folding chair and I'd be able to block it right with my hand so it looked cool. We got into a lot of trouble in, in school. <laughs> Actually that was one of the funniest parts was, um, I've talked about this before that like when you're an adolescent boy you're sort of finding yourself and you're like trying to size people up. Who would win in a fight or what if I get into a fight what would happen and am I tough or not or blah blah blah. And so a lot of high school boys fight, I mean I think that's pretty normal. And I didn't get in any fights, except for all the bad fights I got with my friend, my best friends in the hallway, you know what I mean? So there was no bullying us, because we were bullying each other <laughs> into the ground, you know? You'd be walking, and your best friend in the world would just, like, shove you into a lot, you know, and then you just throw a trash can at him, and then, like, it was a whole mayhem. <laughs> it was really, really fun. Yeah, I'm really glad we did that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Just living WWE in the hallway. In the hallways. And and our teachers would be like, they'd like break us up like we we're about to kill each other. And we're like, sorry, anyway, good round. Like high five. Like, all right, I'll see you in math. Or whatever. <laughs> and our teachers would be like, what just happened? You know? It was fun. It was really fun. That's so funny. What a shame there was no TikTok back then. I know. Eh... I'm actually pretty happy I didn't have I'm glad being high school well adjusted. Yeah. I Yikes. think. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, would you go to WWE now? Oh, yeah, definitely. I know, I would it too. It's so awesome. So I follow Logan Paul, obviously. And okay. he's been doing WWE now. Did you know? He's like... He's in it? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Is he getting good? He's so athletic, and he does all <laughs> these stupid flips and death-defying jump things. It's like yeah. he has a death wish, but he never, never fails. Yeah, it's really cool. That's awesome. I know. I know. It reminds me of, like, The Rock in his heyday, where it's, you, you can tell that you're seeing an icon. Electric. <laughs> He's electric. I'd do the eyebrows if I could. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely go watch him. But otherwise, I don't know. The whole, like, it's soap opera for men. And I can't stop thinking that. Oh, for sure. It's theater. Yeah. It's some, and it's some of the best theater you'll ever see. And it's, and it's athletic. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's great. I, I really, really love it. It got a, li it got a little weird. I remember in, um, I don't know. I think, I think you go through your phases. And, you know, you like this guy, you don't like that guy, you follow the storyline, you fall out of it. I mean, I, I, I would highly recommend it. And if it gets you into real wrestling, then why not? You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there's not a lot of turnover there. I don't know. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Have you done any punchy sports? No. Uh, I've taken a few boxing classes. Uh, I'm not flexible enough for kickboxing, so I haven't even tried. Um, so just kick people I in the shins. Personally, yeah, exactly. A lot of low kicks. <laughs> uh, I personally don't really have a lot of interest in actual boxing. I mean, I like it a lot. I like watching it. I like when other people do it. I don't. I mean, the goal in boxing, theoretically, and again, I'm a layman, so maybe if I'm getting the this sweet wrong, science. But is it sweet? I mean. 
the point is to give the other guy a concussion. <laughs> you know? And then yeah. he can't stand up and then you win. I don't want to... I don't want to do a sport where the main goal is to get your brain to smash into your yeah, skull. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah, it's different than wrestling. Wrestling is not that. Wrestling is tactic, and yeah. you know it doesn't hurt me. I mean, I don't. Ha oh, there's no chance of me having like long-lasting mental issues because I lost a wrestling match. I mean, not low chance. Very, very. You know, it's not the goal. It's not the everyday goal. And a knockdown and they're like they count to 10 and they let you recover like they shouldn't let you recover you know what i mean <laughs> and so i think when i was that young i didn't want to i certainly my parents were like absolutely not and i looking back on it i wouldn't do it i wouldn't let if i had a kid i would let him do it but what age are you allowed to do it and then what age does it make sense and then what age you really shouldn't be getting concussions you know yeah and then they talk about guys who who get one knockout and then suddenly they go from like having a tough chin and being able to take a lot of punches. It's very common for them after like one bad knockout to very, um, uh, they get knocked out very easily. Oh no. And that's because their brain has changed it's to be like, un well, unbooted. I don't want to do that again. Yeah. And you're too dumb to protect me enough. So I'm just going to put us to sleep way quicker next time. So that is that an actual thing that like That's they figured so out. That's so crazy. Yeah. So Either I. Way, I, humans are idiots. Why did we invent this? I don't know. Because it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is cool. Okay. When you think about sport, there's like running. That is the most basic thing you could think of that humans are going to do and then compete in, right? And sure. then that goes all the way to golf, where you got all these clubs, or hockey, <laughs> where you're strapping blades to your feet on ice. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like boxing is closer to the hockey mm. and that the most basic form of combat sport is sumo wrestling oh sumo is really fun you ever you just, sumo? it's just a circle right and then you just get the guy out of the circle that's the most if i could think of a combat that would be the most basic <laughs> thing it's and which sounds so fun and yeah. then you have to be a giant fat person to do it but it, i could sumo wrestle britney and it would be super fun you don't have to be a giant fat guy it would be really scrambly and scrappy and it's really I wouldn't fun. want to watch that <laughs> but somehow it turned to you know obviously it makes i mean tactical sense know, to be big there's also there's all sorts of iterations there's jello Oh yeah, sumo. The, the most basic form of wrestling, <laughs> Jello. If you just distill it to its core, <laughs> the human race would oh, strawberry Jello. Jello. <laughs> <laughs> sumo is really fun. We actually used to do a lot of sumo. So sumo, really? you can't spin. You can only push. Oh, so there there is a there's a little it's bit. It's not of just to get the guy rules. out. There's a thing. There's some. Caveats. There's other, I mean, that's, that's okay. pro sumo, whatever. I mean, what you're talking about is even cooler. Like we got a circle, whoever steps out first loses. Yeah. Go. Yeah. That's a great sport. I'd watch that. I'd watch that. In a, I'd watch 50 minutes of that. <laughs> We're going to bring it back in total fit heads. Our, our, <laughs> our games, the TF games. Yeah. Sumo. It would be a great one. We did a lot of sumo in, in wrestling practice because it does oh. teach you a lot of good balance and sumo is crazy because have you ever played that game where you, you, you put your feet together and you stand right in front of each other and you can push each other's palms and whoever takes a step loses? No. That's a, that's a really fun game. and it's, it's a lot of the same principles. So you stand right in front of someone face to face. You put, you put your feet right next to each other so it's like you don't have a lot of balance. And you put your palms up facing each other. And I can push you, but we can only touch palms, mm -hmm. okay? Do you ever, do you let go? Yeah. Okay. So if I push you and you push against me, then we'll both fall. But if I push you and you pull your hands back, I'll fall forward and step and I Yeah, leave. so that's, yeah. Or vice versa. If I push, if you push hard and I push even harder, then you fall back. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. lot of strategy and sort of, um... Oh, we gotta put that in the TF games too. That's one of the, I mean, these are all games. But you gotta do three shots before you start. Yeah. And you're blindfolded. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we did a lot of fun games like that. We did another one where um, we called it Tails. All these games are really stupid because they have incredibly dumb names. But you take your shirt off, you tuck it in the back of your shorts like a tail. 
Mm-hmm. And if somebody pulls your tail out of your shorts, oh, it's you're like out. Flag football, but it's exactly like flag football. Only it's just a free for all. It's 25 people in a room, mm. <laughs> and that's it. Just go. Oh wow! And so you like, so it's not like I'm gonna grab. Oh, 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 you know, like I look at this guy, and then he, the guy behind you me grabs in. And the, time, you know what yeah. I mean? Your offense and defense the whole time. That was a really fun one. And then as it gets, the game Did you goes on. You get points on, for having more. Just last Pulse? man standing. Oh, wow. So then you're better off just defending, defending, defending until someone else gets all the other people unflagged. Oh, well, yes, until people realize you're doing that and then three, of, three of them gang up on you, which is what happens. It happens all the yeah. time. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there's a, really, a, really a lot of really fun games that sort of spawn out of... Yeah, what's that other one where you want to touch the person's top of their foot with your feet? Or... Oh, feet? Yeah. Is that what it's... Oh, feet. <laughs> that guy with the hips, he plays feet. Uh, yeah, tails. You know the hips guy? <laughs> so, feet is... This is a really fun game. Um, you, If I touch the top of your foot with the bottom of my foot, I get a point. Yeah. And then we reset. Go. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's so much fun. It teaches you the same thing, offense, defense. You're always on your toes. You're sort of like, you know, you, you get the guy leaning one way and then you go and so he's all his weight is on one foot and then he can't move it. And yeah. that's the one you tap with your foot, you know? <laughs> we used to do that with... Give um, your secrets. Well, I mean, it's not a... It's, it's just you know. <laughs> Well, you want to go? No. <laughs> we did... Um, there's a push-up one, too, where you're doing push-ups and... You try to grab the other guy's wrists and pull, oh, and yeah. whoever like lands on his chest loses. Yeah. And so like he's grabs at your wrist, you lift up your hand, he grabs at your other hand, but you can't lift up because that's oh, all your weight. You're constantly weight. shifting weight. Yeah, that was really Whoa. fun. That one's that one's fun. It actually hurts a lot more because you land on your face. Yeah, like, what a the lot. Hell? <laughs> Oh no. Feet and hands. Yeah, or that one. I forget what that was called. I think it was called. I forget what that was called. <laughs> it's not hands. It's not hands. It's something Wow, else. something more creative. Yeah, because throw hands means striking. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to throw hands. But... Yeah, we played a lot of fun games. Sumo, I think you'd be really... But anyway, a lot of these games are fun because you like figure out stuff like that. Yeah. And Fit has, I may be giving something away here, but a combat sport that Max is secretly really good at. RPS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. He's got technique. He told me one technique, and I beat an entire room of improvisers. <laughs> like 25 people. Just throw scissors? Uh, the rock slide. Rock slide, yeah, of course. So, <laughs> there, there are ways to go about this, but I just did When was that? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was crazy. I have Snapchats of just this room. It had to have been, no, 50 people just like cheering like crazy because I I had beaten them all. It was a like icebreaker for some improvisers and right. it's just the whole room. You know, you lose, you're out, you win, you keep going and you just find another person and oh, play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just threw rock every single time and beat everyone. Yeah. Thanks, Max. No problem. Rock never loses. That's the trick with rock's favorite scissors. Well, okay, so I've heard this. If you catch someone off guard, you're like, let's go, one, two, three. Oh, you taught me this too, I bet. Yeah, I did. One, two, three, go. And then they're going to throw rock because that's the easiest one to think of. So if you catch someone off guard, throw paper. Yeah. There's so many different weird whatever. Yep. The diplomat. It's just paper, paper, paper. <laughs> That's a really good one. <laughs> and then I forget what. Oh, it's Edward Scissorhands, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Scissor, scissor, scissor. My my newest trick is my theory is there's a certain there's a certain population of people of society a certain segment of society that only throws scissors, and that segment of society is women. <laughs> Men refuse to throw scissors? I think they're like, oh, uh, what a, I'm not a loser, I'm not a wuss. <laughs> scissors is a wuss, bro. Paper is so, it's so dumb that paper beats rock. That doesn't even make any sense. How stupid. I know. Ugh. Well, great, now I know if I'm playing a chick, I'm, I'm doing Well, your rock side's going to work anyway. So I yeah, that's a that. good point. All right. 
Ugh. I'm so I didn't I, I didn't know you beat a whole room. I thought you just like did pretty well. No, absolutely <laughs> everyone. The whole, it was like a surreal experience. <laughs> That's amazing. What? I can't believe this is working. <laughs> and then suddenly everyone's just shouting, cheering for me. Uh, Max has also crushed me at tic tac toe. When did we play tic tac toe? I don't know. These are it a lot of weird. Recent. It was pretty recent. We were definitely under the influence. Here's the here's the bad thing about about you that I've sort of figured out recently. This is really annoying <laughs> about thing you. About it's me. one of the worst things I've ever realized. <laughs> oh, great. We... I'd say we're, we're friends. Fine. Fine. Uh, we've hung out a lot. Mm -hmm. We've talked a lot. Uh, I remember like 8 to 10 percent of the things that we do and talk about. <laughs> We do drink a lot. And Allie remembers 99.9% .9 of everything ever. Are you kidding Everything me? I've said, everything like we've gotten in trouble for or like done or whatever. Like, this is bizarre This happened to me. a lot. I just finished Why We Sleep <laughs> by Matthew Walker. And it has me freaking out that I have zero memory because my sleep is garbage. I drink. You know, if you learn something... And then two days later, drink, you'll forget that thing. You get two good nights of sleep and you can still erase that thing with drinking three days later. And so now after finishing this movie... This, this book <laughs> this that will book. be turned into a horror movie. Yeah, basically. seriously. After finishing this book, I'm like, I don't think I remember any of my life. Nothing is stuck. <laughs> I've just lived a blur. How sad. So that makes me feel a little better. That's great. That's great. Well, yeah, that book is horrifying. Somebody else told us about that. Uh, a bunch of people have brought it up. And then we both started oh, yeah. it. I got freaked out at the birds. Do you remember the birds? Birds sleep with one half of their oh, brain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the other half is awake. But it also means one of their eyes is open. Yeah. To look around for predators. I'm like, what? And it's tied to humans, too, because half your brain kind of stays awake if you sleep in a hotel room somewhere new that you're not familiar with. That's where you get crap sleep on the first night, and you'll get slightly better sleep the more you stay in a place. Half my brain is up. I know. It's so freaky. It's so freaky. I mean, part of... Whatever. Whatever. And I texted Emma, and I was like, ah, why we sleep is really freaking me out. And what did you say? I said, yeah, I had to uh, stop. What did you say? I said, I had to put it to rest. Ah, but I'm... Yeah, it was great. It was great because I love puns so much. Especially intentional ones. I know. Anyway, glad that I remember stuff that makes me feel better. I'm going to try and get better sleep too, but wow. Yeah. Okay. Very annoying. So, can we get back to the combat thing because I really need your advice on this. Okay. But then maybe I brought this up already because... Dance fighting. <laughs> I've never done any sort of like theatrical sword play or anything, whatever, mm -hmm. so nothing to talk about there. I feel like I brought this up because I was so excited at the prospect at the beginning. Did you know, did you watch the creator clash? So this is big right now, oh, the heads. Yeah, yeah. TikTokers, YouTubers doing boxing, fighting each other, yeah. fighting Floyd Mayweather, which is absurd. I know. So creators doing boxing is a thing. There's one that called it's called the Creator Clash, and it's run by a friend of mine. And I didn't know what was going on, and I saw that it was done, so I didn't even get to watch it. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh man, my buddy did that, and I texted him. I was like, let me know next time you do that, and he was like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes response. And I was like, oh that worked. Uh -oh. Crap, that worked. Uh oh. So, I mean, it's not like a guaranteed or whatever. He was like, send me your height and weight and blah, blah, blah. So I'm in the running for being in the next. So you're asking me who you could beat up? I'm asking you if I should attempt to beat anyone up. One million percent yes. Really? There's One no hesitation there. billion percent yes. Because okay. you are already at a huge, huge advantage over all these chumps. Yeah, I guess, but they're going to have a heads up, so they get three months of training, and that's probably going to equal my three years of kickboxing. <laughs> it's not, though, because it's, it's, it's like years logged, and it's also how long it's been in your brain. Uh, that I didn't drink and sleep it off. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
First, first you gotta sleep now until this happens. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Just be unconscious. Coma, immediate coma. Uh, I think you should definitely do it. I think a lot. The problem with a lot of these. Uh, sort of novice boxer fights is that like so it problems. just takes a long long time to get good at boxing and anybody can kind of see when somebody's good or yeah. somebody's not even if you're in really good shape and a lot of these combat sports like I like again like what I was saying earlier it's so much about body awareness and oh this is when I do this or not even thinking like oh I do this and then suddenly your arm is already going into this yeah so I think you should definitely do it but okay. I would start popping back into kickboxing glasses yeah. if I were you. Roll fast. Um, what? What? Uh... I stopped at, at COVID, by the way, so I haven't since. Okay, well, so you can sign back up. Even like a, even like the, uh, like a boxing class where you're not actually doing anything, you're just yeah. sort of doing the motions. I mean, it's like right, like, like it'll lot. come back to me, but. But the bike is really complex. Yeah. Like learning to fly a helicopter. <laughs> I think okay. you should definitely. What is your what um, uh, boxing, kickboxing? It would. Be, I'm sure it would be boxing. I would love for it to be kickboxing because then I'd have even more advantage. Just to have someone pick that up. Yeah, that would be really in hard a short them. amount of time. See, but it does depend. Maybe they'll put me against someone who's also trained in the past, or yeah. is so larger than me. Take or, down all of your boxing training videos immediately. Yeah, just make them hide them, <laughs> them put them unlisted, dope. take I'll get them rid all of the off. Lifting. <laughs> You can, you can keep all the lifting Delete stuff. Delete my fitness channel. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Get like one of those. Uh, that like, is, uh... <laughs> She's just the girl that puts peeps on a wall, right? Yeah. I can beat her up. Your new look is just Cheeto dust all over yourself. <laughs> at all times. At all times. Oh, this yeah. is the, the best sharking possible. Okay. But I think I think you'd be great. It's it's tough because it's it's. It's hard, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a difficult thing to do. And I've only sparred a handful of times, you know? Uh, most of it has been just training on the bag or with mitts with the coach, you know? Yeah. But. Maybe you should try try spar. Yeah, get get spar the heaviest more. helmet you can find. Get the biggest, get those, like, inflatable boxing gloves. On the other huge person. Huge ones. <laughs> and just, like, see what happens, you know? Because th there, there is that sort of edge. And, Boxing movies talk about that all the time. Like you know, you really have to dig, dig deep and find the blah blah blah. And I have found that what? that I'm gonna need better advice than that. <laughs> you just watch every Rocky movie ever, I guess. Of course, I'll be chugging eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they talk about like how you want to give up and fighting through the idea of giving up is difficult. Yeah. I found, frankly, that the difficult part about that is. Um, sort of noticing when that, when that feeling is sort of, sort of more being mindful of what's happening, you know, cause nobody wants to like quit in the fourth quarter or like no one wants to give up in, in, the, in the last round or whatever. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times you're just tired you're like, Oh yeah, I'm tired. I'll just give up. This is hard. I'm done. And your body's like, yeah, we should just go home. We're done. We're tired. Yeah. You know, but then. To be able to fight through that, I mean, obviously, some movies, you know, the boxer's going to lose his house, or the guy's going to kill him sure. if he doesn't do whatever, or whatever. For me, it would be, there's a camera on. Right. So that's that's the thing you <laughs> really have to do. I want to give of. up, but uh, I must perform yeah. for the audience. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's absolutely I feel like it would, I mean, I'm joking, but I feel like that would have a big effect on me. Yeah, for sure. Not wanting to, I mean, but who doesn't want to be embarrassed by losing, you know what I mean? So... Maybe that's not unique to me. I think you'd be great. I think you should definitely sign up for a couple of classes, and I would like to reserve a spot in your um, entourage, your walkout. Yeah, yeah, you got to rub my shoulders. Right. I want one of those. Or you, I guess you get the. You can the have robe. one too. You get the robe. I'll wear. I'll wear one of the ones that says like Spagatha on the back. Or whatever your box. Well, what would your boxing name be? Oh no. Oh gosh. Uh, float like a bee, sting like a butterfly. That's me. <laughs> No, you need like a nickname, <laughs> no. like like the machine or like the assassin, the silent uh, assassin. Yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't be the silent assassin. You'd be like the cheesy, entertaining assassin. Very noisy <laughs> musical theater assassin. Uh. <laughs> the musical theater assassin. M T S M T A M T A S S S S. Putting the ass in assassin. 
S S. Putting the S S in S S in. S squared. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have two reservations. One is the obvious getting beat the crap up by someone. Yep. Two is, you know, Shane Faison, he does fight tips. He's a really big YouTuber Mm -hmm. and multi martial artist. He's been offered to do these on big tickets, like Mm -hmm. opening for the polls or whatever. Opening. Like the opening Opening, number. Undercard. Undercard. There we go. And he was like, no. This is bringing down my art. This yeah. is disgraceful. I hate that the creators are doing this. I hate that it's a trend. I think it sh- should not be done. And he probably turned down a significant amount of money, too. It's too bad, because, like... He would have murdered everyone! Right, and <sighs> he could have elevated and, the sport in his way. And he could have been a representative for it. And he could have been like, look, I'm actually good at this, and this is how cool it looks when someone's good at it. Yeah, just, that like, you can't take idiots. that road. But I understand why he was like, I want no part of this. I don't want it to be happening. That's true. So I, I see both sides of Integrity. it. Integrity. Yeah. Good for him. Good for him. But also, here I go, making yeah. up a boxing name. And also, like, can I watch you fight then? Like, come on. Yes, if you're not going to, like, tell me where. Okay. It's yeah, gonna that's awesome. We'll see. It's going to be really fun. You can beat me up if you want. I'll be a, I'll be a dummy. <laughs> That's a thing in Krav Maga, they have those dummies. The wooden ones? Or the No, the, the like, ones? rubber. Yeah. I feel like I need one of those. I'm surprised I don't have one, having found one on the side of the road for some reason. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't robbed a Krav Maga dojo. I can't imagine anything more dangerous, my god. <laughs> Robbing people that are trained to hurt you. Yeah, and you rob them at like 6pm on a Wednesday. And they're like, so anyway, if everyone wants to uh, start class... What's up? Are you... Are you robbing the place? <laughs> okay, so everyone, today we're going to learn how to disarm a robber. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Crap. All right. Good stuff. Well, yeah, I can't wait for your fight. That's awesome. No, that's, it's nothing is set in stone. There, there, ding, there, I just put my ding. Head out. Let's ring that bell, baby. <laughs> Gotta get the eye of the tiger. We can do a bunch of training, training videos. If you like this... Sick. Rate and review on Apple Podcasts. If you didn't like this, also rate and review. Isn't that your thing? Yes. You're like, if you like this, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like this, give a thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Ah. Well, if you didn't like it, you can definitely rate and review five stars. That'd be great. Thanks. We'll see you next week. <laughs>